Hi, I hope you're well. I'm Tom Craven. I'm going to show you exactly why you need a 50mm lens. Let's get into the video. So I've just recently got myself a 50mm lens. You know what? Actually, let, let, one second. Let's just put it onto the camera first and then we'll go from there. Let's, let's just change lenses. That's better, isn't it? There we go. So let's talk about this lens. It's a 50mm 1.8. It was actually made in late 70s, so it is manual focus, which is perfect for what I'm using it for because I'm going to use it for videos where I'm actually shooting someone else, not myself usually. And the reason this is handy is because I shoot on a Nikon, which doesn't have the greatest autofocus when it comes to video. So it's actually much better just to go into manual and get it yourself. So the reason you would want a lens like this is because the aperture at 1.8 is gonna let in tons of light. That means that in low light situations, like gigs that I go to, you're gonna be able to get a really sharp and clear image. This also means that you would get a shallow depth of field, which allows you to isolate a subject. So you'll see that the background is completely out of focus while I'm in focus. And that's really handy to have when you're kind of in a busy environment or it's just, there's a lot going on either in the foreground or the background. The fixed focal length means that you have to think outside of the box sometimes and it just makes you kind of have to work out how to actually get that shot without just sticking it in super wide or super close up. You actually have to go and think about what you're shooting and it just makes you a bit more involved in the whole process. So physically this lens is really incredibly light and small. Um, I've only come out with the lens, the camera and the tripod and that's it. I haven't brought a bag because it's so light that I'm just going to carry it back and it'll be absolutely fine. It's the kind of lens that you can put in like a hoodie pocket and not really have to think about it too much. It's that kind of small. They're also really cheap, so the newer ones that do autofocus are around £100 or $100 because, you know, conversion rates. And as I say, I'm going to use mine a lot for video um, just because I haven't really got a video lens. This focal length is actually perfect for video. Um, you know what? Let's, let's go and shoot a video. Let's, let's go and do that. So let's just find we're going to see if there's any um open mic nights let's see if we can find one found one right let's let's try and get a friend that will go to that and uh, i reckon chris will be up for it chris where are you he's on board you know what let's go shoot this let's do it there we go i filmed a piece there of chris we're now going to show it you um, just a little kind of highlights video of our little night where we played a bit of pool and then he jammed on stage. Roll the clip. So there you have it, there's some reasons why I think you should get a 50mm lens. I've actually got the 85 1.8 um, and I'm thinking of going for a wider one at some point. Just because at gigs there isn't very much light at all. You know what, let's end on another bit of b-roll. This time it's from a stall from the big festival um, that sold a lot of brisket and I loved it so much that I ended up making b-roll. And this was all actually shot on the 50mm lens again. So let's go.